Hey. Listen. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allison. If not, thank you so much for tuning back in. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some things that we have recently picked up for the home. And yeah, so I don't have some of these items here with me, like, you know, to show you my hands. Just because some of the items are already in use or they're just like either too heavy for me to bring up here and show you. But I will make sure to... Uh, but I will make sure to film like separate video clips to insert in this video. So the first item I'm going to be mentioning just because I'm mostly excited about that is our KitchenAid mixer. And I'm so, so excited to finally have that mixer. I'm not like very big on baking, but I do love cooking. And I'm not going to say I cook a lot just because I don't anymore. But it is something that I definitely want to do more often. And I do tend to like cook a lot more things. In the winter I'm definitely very excited to have that mixer just because it's something that we both wanted for a very long time ever since we put it on our registry like two years ago um, no one bought it of course so we went ahead and just bought it ourselves just because like a little bit over a week ago when we went to crate and barrel it was actually on sale and we have seen like different colors on sale like the red one or like the teal but not really like the color that we really wanted and so when we finally saw like our color that we wanted we uh, just decided to smash it up because it was the first time that we've seen that specific color go on sale so yeah I am very happy about that purchase and immediately we got the mixer I was like I'm gonna go home and make flatbreads and pizza and bread and banana bread and all these things that I wanted to make I haven't done any of that up only because we were traveling that's really my excuse but I am so so excited to have that mixer and like this is what being an adult is like like you get like really excited about a mixer because I just never saw the day that I would be like super duper excited about a mixer but here we are moving on to the next item the next thing I got is the Toll Crate and Barrel Base and the first time I ever saw this vase on their website I really loved it it was actually honestly between like this vase and another one that I'll insert like a side-by-side -side picture so you guys can see that I may still end up getting the other one just because I feel like I may have found another place for it in the house. But the first time I saw a vase, it was just something about it and now I realize it's like the shape of it. So I initially had like a smaller white vase on our kitchen island, uh, previous places that we've stayed at. But once we moved over to the house, our island is kind of like a little bit on the larger size. So like for scale, the vase was just kind of like sinking in like the island and it just wasn't very like proportional. So. I knew I had to get like a bigger vase just to kind of like, you know, even everything out because like scale and things like that really matter to me. So we got this vase from CB2 and at the time I was to use a 15% off coupon that they gave to us like when we moved because I believe in using a coupon. I believe in buying things on sale, like why not? If you can do it, go ahead and do that. And I know both CB2 and Crate and Barrow usually have like coupons for like different things. So you can get like via text or like subscribing to their emails. It's honestly like worth it and I believe in like saving money in whatever way that you can when it comes to shopping. So yeah, um, the items that I have inside the vase, I got the dry spiral flowers from Crate and Barrow and I believe I've showed them in like a previous haul maybe like two years ago because we've had them for a while now. The green looking flowers, which I don't even know what they're supposed to be. I ended up getting that branch from Target and I think it was like, like $5.99. And I think I got two different branches, but I'm not exactly sure. I honestly do not remember. And then also like the smaller round looking yellow ones that are in the vase are also from Crate and Barrow, I believe. It's kind of been a while since I bought them, so like if I'm mistaken, I will make sure to put the correct thing on the screen. If not, they're definitely from Crate and Barrow, so yeah. And then the next thing that we have recently got is the throw pillows that you'll be seeing right in this clip. And the throw pillows were also part of the registry. We've wanted them for a while now and we just decided to pull the trigger recently just because our couch was looking like a little bit bare and I like what throw pillows do to a space whether it's like the bedroom or like the living room. And our living room was just feeling a little bit plain especially because we don't even have like a rug or painting which are things I believe really make a living room kind of complete so yeah it was just looking very bare over there so we just decided to go ahead and get the throw pillows now while we're figuring out like the rug and painting situation just because we haven't really like fully decided on a rug I am going to try and include like a few options on the screen so the thought process behind the rug was to get something darker just because it works for us with like having a kid and then also our floors are a little bit on the lighter side 
and our coffee table is going to be like lighter so the exit chair i didn't think it would look like you know balanced if the rug was also like a lighter color like we had previously been looking at uh, but because our couch was brown, that was it. my initial thought process was to get a lighter rug just to kind of like contrast all that out. But then now to where we've gotten to, like the other furniture in the living room being lighter, we actually think like a black rug would look the best, but not like a true black because that would just be too dark. We kind of want like black to be the majority color with like, hopefully like my perfect rug is black with like accents of cream. Like that to me would be the perfect rug, but we've sometimes fallen in love with like a rug online, seen it in store and not really liked it which was the case with like the last rug that we looked at it was just a little bit too grey and almost looked bluish in person and then sometimes we've seen a rug and then it's just not available in our size so I definitely feel like the rug is the one thing that might take us a while which it's okay I know furnishing a house takes time and I honestly believe in buying things for your house that you absolutely love and like taking your time just so it's like at the end of the day when you look at your space it's like truly what you want and you're happy being there because usually like furnishing a house is not cheap at all so if you buy things out of excitement or like if you feel like you're being rushed and once everything comes together you end up not liking it like that's kind of a waste of money so we're taking our time and hopefully we find the perfect rug one day now I'll try and see if I can find like a few options just to put them on the screen and maybe somebody watching this video could be like I think that rug looks better than the other one girl so who knows anyway so yeah that was it for the throw pillows that I ended up talking about rugs which I was gonna talk about anyway so it's okay and then the other thing that we have recently got is this soap dispensers I got these from Amazon and I had actually been wanting these for a very very long time like before we even moved in our house I knew I wanted to get like the glass soap dispensers one because I don't want to keep buying like the little small bottles that I used to get from Bath and Body Works it's not really good for the environment even though those smell amazing and I'm gonna try and use up like all the ones that I currently have yeah ideally I want to start buying like the refillable bigger jars of hand soap and then kind of like refill that way so I'm not contributing to like plastic waste and I just honestly prefer that and I also really like how sophisticated the other glass dispensers are so yeah, that was my thought process for that. I'm still yet to find a pedestal for these two that I like. I had got one from Amazon, but when it came in, it was like really, really tiny and it just wasn't even proportional to like the bottles. And I'll insert a picture somewhere here for what I wanted to actually look like whenever like that's complete. But I think I may be able to find one on Etsy because I've seen one. They were just like a little bit pricey the last time I looked, but I'm sure I'm going to be able to find one that kind of like gets my vision for that. So I'll leave a link for the soap dispensers and we've been using these for a couple of weeks now and no regrets, we really love them so much and honestly they might end up in my Amazon favorites video that I plan on filming very very soon because now I feel like I've gotten to a place where I have like enough Amazon favorites. So. Yeah, so next thing that we've added to our home is our coffee table, which at the time that I'm filming this video, it has not been delivered yet. If it's delivered by the time I'm like editing and uploading this video, I'll add like a real life clip of it. If not, I'll just include a picture of it on the screen. But we actually ended up going with this coffee table because we wanted like a lighter coffee table. And there was another one that I really loved, which I'll show you guys a picture here. But unfortunately for this one, it wasn't going to be delivered until December, which we really wanted a coffee table like towards the beginning of October, which, you know, I'll get into that story here in a second. But that one wasn't going to be delivered until December. And then also it was kind of on the higher side. It was like way above our budget for a coffee table. I really loved it. I feel like I could have made a convincing argument for it, but the fact that it wasn't going to be delivered until much later, I felt like even I couldn't like make an argument for that. So the coffee table that we ended up getting, I really like it. It's travertine and now travertine is like a really popular stone. I feel like after I fell in love with it, I started to see it everywhere, which usually like I feel like that's the case with stuff. It's like you realize, oh, I'm not the only person that loves this. But, um, we have an end table that's travertine. It's not the same exact one with our coffee table. And the coffee table matching our end table was a little bit on the smaller side, just for the scale of our living room. 
and when we finally were able to find it in store we just also did not like the height of it so it just wasn't really a perfect match for our living room but I don't really mind that the coffee table is different from the end table honestly I like that like I like when things are not super matchy matchy and also the top is the same exact stone so I think those two will be very complimentary so I cannot wait for that table to get here so I can finally see it in person and I'm just really really excited to finally be able to have a coffee table that we both love and add it to our home like the process of making your house into like a home and furnishing it into what you really want is very beautiful even though it's like exhausting I think it's like a very beautiful process and whenever we like land on a piece that we really love like that's just so fulfilling to me so that's what I feel about our coffee table next things I'm going to show you are from Crate and Barrel and I actually have like a couple of those things here with me so I'm just gonna get them out of the back and then I will show you alright so first things first I'll start with this one just because it's the heaviest item it is just this marble serving tray right here and I actually don't think I have any serving trays in my home I really loved the gray color for this and I just think it's like such a beautiful contrast with a lot of our other dishes and I honestly think it's also a really great price for marble it was $29.95 and it's not like that small honestly I think it's like a really good size even though I'm holding it with like one hand it is like really freaking heavy but what actually prompted me to get this we were having a conversation about inviting people over for like wine and cheese and I realized I don't even have anything to put the cheese on and it's not like one of those things I was saying just because I wanted to buy something and I was like no really I don't have anything to put the cheese on I don't think I have like any cheese boards any sort of like serving boards that I could have used for that so I went to looking and of course I found one from my favorite store so next thing I got from Crate and Barrel is the Live Beautiful coffee book by Athena Cauldron and I really really love her as a designer I followed her on Instagram for a little bit now and she recently made a TikTok and all her videos of her at home are just so so beautiful but I was so excited when I saw that she was going to be collaborating with Crate and Barrow and she was going to have a collection there there is like a few items that I really really love from her collection the first time I went in store I was looking for one of the vases and also like the pedestal bowl they actually didn't have any of those in store they had sold out they only had like the candle holders which honestly like I don't really need candle holders right now and then the other two things I really love from her collection is the accent chair which I'll pop on the screen as well as the coffee table like that coffee table is just to die for and I really really love it and I don't need the coffee table because we recently just purchased one so that's out of the question but I really really love that accent chair and because we are in the market for an accent chair and I was actually going to purchase the one from CB2 which is actually almost the same exact fabric but We'll see. I'll like run it past the crew to feel <laughs> to see how they feel about that chair. But I'm really, really excited for this coffee table. I literally only saw like two page previews on her Instagram stories and I was like, sold. Plus, I need books to put on my coffee table. So I was like, why not? So I actually didn't get much from Crate and Barrel this go around. This item I'm going to be showing you is actually going to be the last thing that we got from there. And it is just these water goblets. I feel like all of my glassware at this point is from Crate and Barrel. But I'll just hold it like this way so you guys can see. My husband has been wanting these since forever. And every time we go to a restaurant where they serve water in like one of these fancy water goblets, he constantly brings it up. And I was like, just bite the bullet and get the water goblets that you really want. Because we had bought some that he really didn't like. And I knew that he really wanted these because he's loved them ever since he saw them. And like I said, the last time we went to Crate and Barrel, they were actually having a sale, which also applied to those glasses. So it was like a win. So we ended up getting those glasses and everyone is happy. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to move on to the items I got from CB2. They're still in a box, so I'm going to go ahead and unbox those and come back to the video. The things I got from CB2, I'm sure you guys can see one of them waving around in my hand. I feel like I have a candle obsession. Not like not like the scented candles that you burn in your house but like decorative candles especially that you use for dinner and as usual I told myself when we finally get our dining table which we do not even have yet I can finally burn these candles and hopefully host a very beautiful dinner for Christmas so I saw these olive candles from CB2 and I just had to have them the color was stunning and they were a great price so they just came in a pair and they just look like that hopefully the camera is like picking up the color but 
really really loved these they also have like some black ones but i think i already have some black candles that i haven't used yet so i actually restrained myself so i only got just this one so for the next thing i'm going to be showing you i actually already have this i just got like four of this the first time but four just wasn't enough so i decided to get two more to make it six because that feels like a more balanced number just because of like how i want to use it it made more sense it is just like this tea light candle holder and it is in the amber color which i just think is so beautiful compared to like the clear ones which i also really love but this to me just has like something special about it so i just got two more of these and yeah i just so yeah i just got two more of these and i'm really happy with where we are right now the last thing i got from cb2 which is the last thing i'm going to be showing you guys for this video is by the way disclaimer I know this may look like something I wouldn't really gravitate towards, but I really, really like this. Like, this, I don't know, has like some sort of like feeling of like comfort or nostalgia for me, which also reminds me of like this other cup that I saw from CB2. And I remember seeing this cup for the first time, and I actually think like we had it in my grandmother's house growing up or something very similar to it which just made me feel so warm and happy on the inside so the item that I got is actually this plate right here and I just think it's such a beautiful beautiful plate as soon as I saw it online like I believe this one's newer than like the other collection as soon as I saw this one I was like these are perfect for Christmas and I really hope that I get to host Christmas this year I mean they're not like super Christmassy but I just really thought like the green color would definitely go in line with like Christmas dinner so I really hope I get the privilege of hosting Christmas dinner this year and if I do I'm very very excited to do so but for this plate I just really really love them and they have like a silver trim towards the end I believe these were originally like $16.95 or $14.95 but they were actually 40% off when I got them which I was like it's a sign I love this plate they're on sale we need to get together and I immediately drove to the store I did not even want to get them online because I'm like I cannot have them fast enough and I immediately drove to the store after my appointment yesterday and I got my hands on these I got six because I just think that's the perfect number for us so yeah I'm really excited about that all right guys we have made it to the end of this video thank you so so much for watching if you made it through to the end I really appreciate every single one of you that watches my videos if you're not subscribed already please make sure that you do so you can join my little family here on YouTube and I do want to say especially after doing like a whole video that I'm very grateful to have and, and to be able to afford all of these things and I'm just very grateful for everything in life in general I do not take any of that for granted I really do hope to see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching again